Oh good, here we go. The GE Infusor. Not Infuser, but Infusor. GE doesn't cares. So anyway, you all laughed at it, but here is the selfie stick tripod. And it's perfect, because I just came in the house with this, and I'm going to set it up, and we can point it in there, and that way you can laugh more at the machine. This has the magnetic uh, reed switch thing, so I took the screws out, so we can sit it here, so it thinks the lid is closed, and you may hear the reed switch. So let's get the camera set up and see what happens. Infuser trademark guide. Cleaning with less water. HE low water washer. Do you feel like this is like a fucking PowerPoint presentation already? Less water, less energy, less cleaning. Energy Star. Infuser washer. Wah. Traditional washer. That's the one I want. Can I like select that? It says, reference the owner's manual online, geappliances.com, refer to the Garmin Care Label or additional inf for additional information. GE recommends replacing your washer inlet hoses every five years. Um, GE recommends replacing your washer every five years. Hydrowave, quiet wash system. <laughs> I swear, if I had, like, a fucking black Sharpie, I would definitely cross that out there. <laughs> oh, let's see. Website, again, geappliances.com, because we need that. Always measure and add suggested amount of HE, high-efficiency detergent and fabric softener, set knobs, before loading garments. HE only. Only HE. Only millennial detergent. And look how much. Well, that looks like more water than the fucking machine uses, doesn't it? Optional. Lift infusor cap and add fabric softener. Completely closed cap. Use concentrated fabric softener only. Do not overfill. About two tablespoons. For optimal wash performance, load garments loosely around the infuser. It is normal for some of the load to be above the water level. Okay, let's take a close look at this picture. It is normal for some of the load to be above the water level. That looks like the whole load. That's just what it looks like to me. You can draw your own conclusions. Select wash cycle and add options based on load type and or soil level. This washer uses auto load sensing. Lid must be closed to operate. And it shows you setting it to fabric fastener. And that's it. All right, I'm pretty much going to leave everything alone, but I'm going to change the thing to fabric softener. Why? What the fuck, man? Why are there so many clicks? Oh, God. Cycle signal, cold, cold is fine. Medium, and it says fill, silk, wash, rinse, spin. Start, pause, and I'll hit start. But I'm going to open the lid and adjust the camera the best I can first. Okay, this is about the best angle I can get for you. Camera's a little wonky. Maybe I'll fix that. That's a little better. And we'll hit start and see what happens. I don't know what it's going to do with an empty thing here. So we're just going to do it. It's got like a rubbery thing over the button. So, oh, actually, wait, the water may be off. So, um, I guess we only really need cold. Turn that on, and I'll come over here and we'll give it a shot, and hopefully it's plumbed correctly, and that is cold. Hey! It takes water? What? Uh, okay, so it has a shower head, because you're not bathing the clothes, you're only giving them a shower. 
And of course it spins the tub because some millennial said, oh my god, like... Already? Maybe I nudged the little thing, I don't know. It doesn't have a lid lock, so that's good. But like I said, yeah, some millennial probably said, oh wait, shouldn't we have the clothes go around so they all get wet? Knowing full well that it's not going to use any damn water. So, anyway, you can watch the carousel spin around and spin around and spin around. On the carousel! Where is it going to stop? I got my money on error code. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's supposed to like half spray the center and the rest go straight down or what. We have, oh, maybe an inch and a half, two inches of water in there. Of course, it doesn't tell you the time. Right now, it just says fill. We have no idea how long this is going to take. Probably got about two inches of water by now. That's a feat in and of itself. Boy, this is fun. Okay, it stopped turning. <laughs> now it's kvetching. It's moving like robot dance. Moving like robot dance. Now it's stuttered because... Because... Oh, wow, look at the agulation, everyone. Wow, look what it's doing. Wouldn't want any air pockets under the clothes. Got to make sure they get wet, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to go well. It's going to go real well. Probably a good three and change inches of water now. Oh, actually, even more. It's getting just about up to here on my hand. So it's actually taking some water. Okay, now it stopped, and that's all you get. Oh, give me a fucking break. Really? Deplorable. But, but it's whisper quiet. It's whisper quiet. Wouldn't want to make too much noise for the millennials. Yep, all we do is just bump, 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 bump underneath. I, again, I don't have anything to put in here and whatever, but yeah. That's all it would do. Now, somebody else I watch, Sasha Monique Talks, and I watch her really mainly for the detergent reviews that she does from time to time. She has an apartment, and she has one of those little, like, countertop washing machines, and it has a sort of wash plate kind of idea like that, but the tub is like, you know, the whole machine is like this big. That's a different story, you know? For that, if that's like all you have, that would be fine. If that's what, you know, you just got a couple items, maybe they're not terribly dirty or whatever, you just need to kind of wash them, freshen them up. 
I'm sure that machine would do a fine job. You know, she's had videos on that. You can just search, you know, washing machine. I don't remember the brand name. It's some Chinese name you'll never know. But uh, that's pretty much what this is doing. So for something that was a countertop model for anywhere between $80 to $120 maybe, something like that, compared to what would this machine cost? $599, $699? Oh wait, the Infusor, maybe $799. Wow! 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 Millennial washer. At least the tub doesn't index. You know, I can't even move it. It's actually locked. It, it has a little play, you know, maybe the three quarters of an inch or so. It just says wash right now. And again, there's no time frame. Wow. 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 Wambulance. Wambulance. That's all the water you get, folks. I don't think there's like even a deep fill that you can set on here. Mm. Nope, does not look like it. It senses and does what it wants because that's what its iPhone told it to do. That's all it's going to do, and too bad. Take it or leave it. You don't like it, you can go buy another Milena washer, and it won't do any better. <laughs> we could be here for an hour and a half. The clothes right now are bored out of their mind. They're like, when are we going to start washing? Come on already. What the fuck with all this jerking around? Get down to business. Do something. Nope. Nope. We're just going to sit here all day and do this. Because this is the one skill the Milena washer has. It can go back and forth. You can make a washing machine out of a bucket that you cut a hole in the lid and put a plunger through and then put the lid on after you fill it up with water and detergent and stuff and just plunge the clothes up and down. With that, yes, you can use a clean plunger if you insist. Uh, that would probably be a lot more effective than what we're watching right now. I'm amazed the machine hasn't complained by now. Saying, oh, there's not enough stuff in there, error code. Looks like model is GTWN 505 I'm sorry 5050 MOWS G 
BTWV5050M0 MOWS. It mows. It mows your clothes. Wow. Wow. I'm not going to move the camera, but yes, in the corner it has the Energy Star logo. Because it uses so much energy, it could power a star. It says 120 volts, 60 hertz, 10 amps. UL listed. I don't have a date. If the serial number helps, it looks to be D is in David, D is in Victor, 925858G is in George. If anybody wants to try to date this thing, if that's using the serial number to do so. I mean, this this is this is really exciting. <laughs> I want to get like a fucking sledgehammer and start banging the machine. Like, come on, fucking do something else already, you stupid retarded piece of shit. You know, but no, no, it's just gonna sit here and kvetch. And go, I'm a gamer, this is my game, I wash things like this, and this is all I'm good at in life, like OMG and I'm a gamer, I mean a washing machine, and a line of washer, oh my god. If, if I moved into this house, and I never would have, this is not really my my thing, this house. It's not a bad house. There's nothing wrong with it, per se. The immediate turn-off of this house, for me, is that there is no bathroom on the main floor. There's one down here in the basement that you've seen previously, and one in the upstairs, but none on the main floor. You gotta go up or down an entire flight. Could you imagine if XJO81X is here? My god, Castone will be watching these steps every fucking day. Damn. This also has a, an HE logo. It says low water wash. Oh, yeah, wouldn't want to use water to wash. No, no, no. Let's wash with air. Air fryer is the main thing you see as, on, as seen on TV now. The air fryer, because you fry without oil. And oh my God, it's so good, it's so good. And then you get the damn thing home and it burns the ever-loving fuck out of everything and be like, this don't taste fried. It's not bad, but it ain't fried. If you want to eat that grease, then you go and do it. You know? What was it? Michael McDonald said, uh, ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. This ain't it. This ain't it. The air fryer has its place, but not to actually fry things. It's a glorified toaster oven that's really a broiler. Wowie! Well, uh, that's really about all the commentary I have come up with at this point. So what I'm going to do is stop recording and wait until the machine possibly thinks of doing something else. 
and I will continue on from there. It got an app for a new trick. Now it can do slow speed. I love the little thud at the end. And the tub just moves ever so slightly like it's hitting a brick wall stop. And, you know, just like... I'm going to give you a bad example because all you Milena washers who are cheering this fucking deplorable piece of shit on won't know what a five and a quarter inch floppy drive is, much less an Apple II. But Steve Wozniak, in his infinite wisdom of making the hardware as cheesy as possible, which, by the way, happens even today with your iPhone X and your iMac um, whatever the fuck it is now, yeah, uh, in the effort of being exceptionally cheap and cheesy, he bought the model floppy drive from Shugart, I believe it was, that did not have a track zero sensor. And that is why when you turn an Apple II on that has a diskette drive, you get that characteristic beep, chuggity 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 chug. And that chugga chugga to chugga to chug means the drive has stepped the heads all the way back and now there's no track zero sensor so it just keeps going bang 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 and that's the chugga to chugga to chugga to chug that you hear. Eventually if you had something that would turn the machine on or off like many many times over or a machine that's used heavily in a school they were when I was a kid, um, you could knock the drive out of alignment because it keeps hitting that stop and it could knock it out of alignment. Imagine what's happening here. Clunk, 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 clunk. Something's going to break. Everything is going to break. Everything is broken. Everything is going to break. Thank you, drive through. Okay, I'm done already. At this point, I walk away. Well, you can make a okay. melody. You could go, everything's gonna break. <laughs> Everything is broken. <laughs> Everything is gonna break. <laughs> Thank you, drive through. <laughs> At least this machine is not possessed. Load sensing. What What is this thing even doing? Well, it's an automatic fill, so you can't control the fill. So what, like, what, what does this thing fucking think it's doing? <laughs> the thing is fucking possessed. <laughs> With a direct drive. Oh my. Oh, something new. Oh, wow, look, it got a new app. What, what was the point of this? What was the point? Oh! Oh my god, that sounds like fucking rattling chains. Now it's fucking possessed. It's draining. What is the point of this? What is it doing? Going back and forth. What? Who invented this shit? The drain pipe sounds okay.
I can't even tell you what that sounds like on the other side of the wall. It sounds like an airlock, but... Oh, okay, it did get rid of 99% of the water. I don't know if the camera makes it out, but all the little splashies make the thing look like it's really dirty. Yawn. It still says wash. Yawn. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Yawn. Well, it held water. It didn't fucking leak all over the floor. That's good, right? <laughs> it's got that going for it. Jeez. And your washer has just died. There, it, what you know? What's it waiting for? I bet it's waiting for like the clothes to sort of like drip dry, so this will be like another hour, and then it'll turn the drain pump on again for you know twenty, thirty seconds or so. Then it'll spin them, and then it'll probably wait again. Like oh, maybe a few more drops will come out. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Must be done by now, you know. <laughs> it's got to be done. Okay. The drain pump. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. It let the clothes drip dry for a couple of minutes. Ooh. Oh, that'll get them dry, yeah. That's working. The drain pump is louder than the machine. I cannot promise, but perhaps in the future I will be able to get a video of this machine actually washing stuff. And I use that term as loosely as you can possibly imagine. I see no benefit in this five minutes so far of it just sitting here and going at a slow speed doing nothing like is it that afraid that there's going to be that much water in the clothes which it didn't use to start with that it's gonna be off balance like what is it possibly doing oh well, i think it's picking up speed I don't know if that's top speed. I don't know what the camera picks up. I hear like a mm, kind of hum. But there's also that sort of whine going on in the background, which this is the one thing I'll credit the machine with. Almost sounds like a stepper motor going at a high speed or a somewhat high speed. And I will say I'm a little partial to the, like, shower head water coming in. Just, I, you know, it, it's different. The, the, the Whirlpool direct drives had the, the waterfall looking thing. The Speed Queen goes in at a hangle. Oh, oh now it's going to fucking blow up. Oh, dick. Okay.
one other thing to its credit, which is really due to its design, was that it went from the low speed spin to this high speed spin without a clunk or a shift or anything to have to do with the transmission at all, because it doesn't have one. Right now the indicator says wash still. It says wash still. Oh, slowing down. Now it's chattering. It says fill and rinse, but it is doing neither. Perhaps it's idling down and waiting until it satisfies 43 sensors. If I had a watt meter hooked up to this, it might give us some information as far as what it's doing. Okay. And... Nope, doesn't stop. Let's just keep turning it around real slow. Want to make sure the clothes get every last drop of water of the 16 drops that we're actually putting in. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I was saying earlier that if I got this house and then I got it on a tangent about the bathrooms, um, this would be the next thing that would go. But like I said in the house video, it doesn't work, but it's not broken. So it's not going anywhere until it is broken. So if you want to see a direct drive, or you want to see a speed queen, and you want to fund it, I will be happy to ensure that everything goes according to plan. Other than that, shut up. Now this is interesting because for the rinse, I have it set on the fabric softener. So this may actually be um, kind of all it does. Yeah, this may actually be all it does. It may just fill like this and sort of spin around and call it good. I was under the impression that for these, and I'm sure there were some machines that probably did, that it would actually be running the drain pump at the same time and just run the water, you know, spin it around, oh, 12, 15 times and say, okay, it's rinse now. Oh, actually, I'm, <laughs> it's been a long day, folks, I'm sorry. Now, it's set on the fabric softener setting, so it is going to do a proper rinse. Oh, man, it's been a long day, yeah. I think I drove 50 miles today, and then had other errands to do, and mowed the lawn, and I still have a backlog of videos to edit. Love that stupid wash plate going back and forth. You know, it's the infusor. What do we pour just like a bottle of teriyaki in there and say it's Asian fusion? Like, you know, what are you what what are you really doing? Wah, wah. 
I should have had the fabric softener setting to off. That's what I should have done. And the settings on there are interesting because it says set when adding fabric softener. Then there's a fabric softener and second rinse. But there's also a setting just for second rinse. So I guess this is all this is going to do. So I'm going to stop recording again because there's nothing to see until something else happens. And then I will continue recording. I guess I remembered the other app it got for a second. Now we rattle our chains. Off the chains, man! <laughs> Sharky knows what that one is. What? It's standing still and draining? Like, like almost like a neutral drain? Could this be happening? Then we're going to probably have the obligatory pause for like an hour, you know, just because. I'm kind of glad the cycle signal is on. Now let's see it sit here again. <clears throat> I'm kind of glad the cycle signal is on because I'm really wondering if we're going to get an old school buzzer or if we're just going to get like a beep or if we're going to get a song played to us because the Milena washer needs its trophy. We'll have to see. I have a feeling it's going to be one of the two former rather than the latter but uh, that remains to be seen until it actually happens so uh, just to avoid boring you forever I'll wait until it does something again <laughs> Spin up to that had a cool sound, but you know, I mean, if if that's all this washer is good about, then you know, who needs it? I'll, I'll live without it. And again, the the other sort of fast stepper motor sound that it does later, as it's running at a higher speed, was sort of interesting. But again, I'll live without it if there's nothing else good about it, and I really haven't found anything else good about it, so. how much stuff it can wash because it doesn't oh error code because it doesn't have a center agitator wow look how much more space there is god forbid they put fucking water up there i know then you're gonna get the dicks with the comments omg fake and gay you know blah 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 it'll fill up when the load is bigger and then it still will never get the proper amount of water it just will not happen will not happen
you know, I mean, like I said, if that's the only other trick up its sleeve, then wow. It does say spin. does say spin. Like I said, maybe in the future, maybe in the future I will get this machine actually washing stuff, and then we can have the Sabbath cross in a resetting to what it was, which was an extended spin. And watch it dance around and do basically nothing for a rinse. So yeah, that's just kind of doing its thing. And I don't know how long this is. I reckon then what I'm going to do is stop recording until it goes to stop and then we'll record its final parting thoughts before its battery is dead and needs to be recharged because millennial cell phone. This is like beating a dead horse. This spin has been going for like 10 minutes already, I swear. Definitely five, because the camera shuts off in five minutes. So I stopped recording, hoping that it would, you know, kind of, but it didn't, know. It just says spin, and it, it's spinning. No indication of what the hell anything else is going to happen. Thank fuck for that. The indicator light has gone out. Is it actually done? We don't know. Oh, I think I heard a relay click. I would think at this point it's actually done. So this was this deplorable GE washer that I shouted the model number out before. Multiple clothes care cycles, variable speed, vari a variable speed with precise fill in green. Because that makes the machine green. Auto load sensing. Yeah. Easy care, gentle, fast, delicates, extra gentle, slow, casuals, gentle, slow. Cotton's regular fast. Pre-wash, regular soak fast. I think that's going to do it, folks. Oh, boy. Well, like I said, maybe in the future, can't promise, but maybe in the future we'll have uh, a uh, <clears throat> wash 
in this washer and see what it actually does. It's going to do nothing, but that's it. For the record, I will shut the water supply back off. So I leave everything as if it were never used because I believe in, you know, if you borrow something from someone, you return it in better condition than you borrowed it in. So same kind of thing. I'm being actually nice like that. I mean, it is my sister after all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.